Yo, what are we doing up in here, fellers? We are back, finally, for another small video today. If you ain't doing good, you better be doing good today, because it's a very good day. We're about to go pick up a miniature cab over today. Little miniature guy. You'll see when we get there. It's a very good unit. We gotta head up to Niles, Michigan. We got Mr. Decoder back there. Mr. Patrick. The whole D-Man story over here. I don't know about that. <laughs> D-Man story. Here We're we like go. 20 minutes away. Go picking this unit up. And it's going to be doing rolling burnouts on the way home all day long. So you sure it's going over well. <laughs> it better. We're taking it back. Because we're going to have to change the turn scheme to make that happen. Oh, I'm going to have to turn it up in the driveway of his house. We're going to crank it up. Where's crank the screwdriver? Up. Where's the screwdriver at? But yeah, we're going to go go check this old guy. Out. We're going to take it to the Freedom Truck Meet because uh, we don't have any booth trucks. So we have to go buy something for a booth truck. Yeah, I mean, that's just what everybody does, right? They yeah. They a new booth truck for every, every meet. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do. Like, damn it, we don't have a truck for this event, so now we gotta go buy one. So now we're in Niles, Michigan, found this old gal for a good deal. Let's uh see what it is. Hopefully it's not a piece of junk. It better not be. I'm gonna be pissed. We're gonna drive right through this living room. That's a good game plan. Yes. So let's get there and see what this thing's all about. Yes, here she is, boys. This thing is an absolute unit. Taking the old guy on a test drive here. Oh yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. this thing is an absolute unit. You think the tone up? I love it. Woo! It'll shift. There we go. Just got put it to the floor. Yeah, apparently. Woo! <laughs> Dude, we're gonna use that the whole way home. <laughs> Just so y'all know, we're driving this thing all the way to Wyoming from Niles, Michigan. Well, we gotta take it to the Freedom Truck Meet first. Dude, this thing is way smoother than the 450. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's got a crack in the windshield. Take it back. Take it back. Y'all better be hiding your girlfriends or your wives because we're coming to pick them up. <laughs> That's right. It's getting out on the highway. Oh, she chirped the tires. My. Yes, AC equipped. AC is equipped from the 70s. Brakes, oh, brakes work immediately. <laughs> brakes are good, dude. We're gonna figure out how to turn this pump up and we're gonna be rolling all the fuses. Loud stereo, $100 fine. Good thing. Perfect. Like, look at this gal. This thing starts like right up, no problems at all. Even when it was cold when we showed right up. Not a problem. Right here. That's flights. That's these are your high beams right here. 
on, they might be off, I don't know. No. How bad is it leak? We just stopped here about halfway through the trip. Everything is looking good. We're leaking a little bit of brake fluid. Um, it's getting a little squishy, but I think we should be able to stop and everything, no problem. So let's get her down. We're gonna start driving this old gal. Right, here we are, boys. We got her driving. This thing is skeeting. We don't really have any brakes. There's a guy stopped in the middle of the road up here. Not sure what's going on up there, but he better get out of the way because we're coming through and we ain't got no brakes. So we either need to pinch off the rubber line up here going to this front tire, or we need to create a crescent wrench. You can't really see, but there's a nut down there on top of that reservoir where you gotta take the nut off and fill it up with some brake fluid. We got the brake fluid, we just don't have the crescent wrench. So, uh, yeah, we gotta figure that issue out. There's a gas station up the road here, a little bit bigger of a truck stop. Uh, and we'll get her from there, so. We'll get crescent wrench or some vice grips and figure it out. But it's just all about old trucks and getting them cross country, so figured there'd be a little something we'd had to do. At least we don't have to change the transmission or something on the side of the road. Brad, Weston, West. Patrick, Dakota. We, uh, oh, we only made it about an hour until a brake line blew out. Well, it didn't blow out, it blew out when we first was there. The cylinder, like all the way within an hour. I <laughs> came rolling up in this gas station here, so I had to use this curb as a stopping block. And no brakes. So, uh, come up in here. We'll show you what we had to do. We had to, uh, take, we had one line going from up here over here, another line going over here. And, uh, we just took one of the lines and looped it into the thing, in the Y here. And, uh, we don't need front brakes. One oh. side will work just fine. A little tidbit of information. This thing's so old and badass. I don't hate it. This is part of an old truck. Yeah. That being said, it's one brake line. Like one from the master cylinder to everything. There's no diverter valve, there's no split, there's no 70 in the front, 30 in the rear, it is everything. And the back brakes work phenomenal, ask me how I know. That being said, <laughs> we're not worried about it. One less brake just makes you got a good handle on the steering wheel when we come to a stop. Yeah, because it's gonna go. Yes! Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, we're gonna head on down the road now. Hopefully uh, we make it there now. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks, boys, for the uh, coming out yeah, and helping. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. It. Let me get your flashlight back. Your flashlight, whatever one you want to call. Well, boys, we're back on the road. Barely have any brakes. I'm very scared to use them, so uh, we're just gonna downshift it as much as possible and hit the e-brake uh, just so I don't blow out this damn brake line. Just in case. I mean, you never know. We're gonna use them as least as possible, so. We'll get it fixed in the morning. Yeah, it rolls cold now. We haven't had it 12 hours. <laughs> you don't need this one up here anyways, right? It's a suggestion. Yeah. It's suggested to use this one up here. You don't have to. It's just a uh, temporary fix to get us to Wyoming. The air filter hadn't been changed in... 2013. Yeah, since 2013, so 11 years. So we changed that. Oh, so it should run way better now. God damn it, that's cool. It looks so amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. He gets to be the lucky one to drive it now. Where? Go pick up his brother. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got the cab over here today and we gotta take it to Dairy Queen for uh just to see if it works. Actually I don't know if we can. Ran out here today, tell you what. Cleaning up the cab over. Well, the tires are breaking loose. Tires are spinning all the way. There ain't no weight on the rear end. Yes! Our cab over's allowed in the very clean draft, though. About to find out. Hopefully, we can stop. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, we better uh, wait for this rain to stop, I think. Uh, there is no weight in the rear end. That old lady thing. in there is looking, bro. Who? She was looking. What? That old lady inside the Dairy Queen. Don't be looking at my cab over. Are we going to 
clear it, we should be able to clear nine foot. Uh, yeah. If not, we have to park it. Oh, dude, just barely. Oh, yeah, all day. All day. I'm about to shut this mode down. Yeah, I'll do a uh, your small brownie batter and then a small M&M. Is that all for you? Yes, please. All right, I'll have that all for you. Too, all right, I'll take it. Hopefully it starts. Oh, right up. They'll be like, yeah, what the fuck? No sub eyes. You got a commitment order. We're like, uh, um, no. Whoa, what is that thing? Park brakes, huh? Yo. How are we doing? Perfect. Thank you. She's laying. Thank you. Is this the first semi you've had through here? Yeah. <laughs> All righty, thank you. Right, now we're jacking up the cab again. What are we doing, Dakota? We're gonna adjust the pump a little more. Turn it up some more. We did one turn, and I think we can get about three turns out of it. All right. So we got our golf cart here. There's Case on the golf cart right there. And then we got the uh, international right there as well. So uh, he's already honking the horn. Don't be letting all the air pressure out. That's used for going fast. All right, here we go. Oh, he's just spinning. Oh, he's moving. <laughs> that was pretty close. Oh, we got two six fours up in here. That one sounds like it's non-VGT swapped right there. Little propeller on the back didn't bring her enough power. Yeah. That was close.
factory, huh? And then we got her out here in the burnouts as well. Not too bad. Not too bad. Flying out and said compressor wheel, so that's good. Me and Dakota were up. Where's Dakota? Oh, Where's man. Dakota? There he is. Me and Dakota here were trying to do a, a 500 ton of nitrous. <laughs> we we're getting it to a thousand, and the truck's about 300 horse. Yeah. Uh, we we're gonna give him a nice shot of nitrous, compounded 12 valve, 150 overs, and everything, and it's probably. One of the many times your life will flash between your eyes there. And uh as many times counting as one of your fingers? I can't. Yeah, like that was like one of the, like same exact feeling. Ears are ringing still and everything. Dude, yeah. that was insane. That was wild. Let's huh? do it again. Huh? Do it again. Yeah. Again. Dude. We gotta find the exhaust wheel. If you can yeah, see in the video, it went, it went shooting like this way. way. I'm pretty something went flying. I know that I'll for sure. Through. Dakota, what's your overview on this? Uh, it was really slow motion in my head, but all I remember is looking at the turbo wheel and seeing a backfire come out, and I thought I was meeting Jesus. <laughs> Me too, honestly. <laughs> I was like, damn it! We were hugging because if, like he said, Dude, I literally we're going said out together. I was, I literally before the pull, yeah. I was like, I knew something no. was gonna go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the go last pull and night, everything's gonna make power, but. He was going to do the nitrous and everything, and I was, he was like, you want to help me do it? And I was like, we going out together? <laughs> Went over, calibrated the dyno, got on there, SHPOW! <laughs> as soon as we opened the God! Literally. That Jesus! Seen that day, like 10 minutes ago. That was pretty wild. Yeah. That was very good. It worked. Very now nice. it's tapered. It, it made 290 horsepower before it blew up, but it barely even spooled. And it was literally a straight grab to the moon. It <laughs> had him in a thousand horsepower all day. All right, so we just left the Freedom Truck meet. It was a rowdy time, like always, to tell you what. We didn't record much there because we had to keep everybody in line around here. It's one of the shows you gotta go to to experience the whole experience. But uh, we're starting the road trip cross country in the old gal now. We're gonna stop by the house, drop the case off. Well, that's a police 
police officer right there. Keep on trucking. Hey, Mr. Officer, how we doing, sir? Don't look at me. Don't look at me, Mr. Officer. We are perfectly legal. It's not like we're speeding or anything. I don't think there is any speeding in this thing. So we're good. I would just stop for a coffee break. I don't even know what time it is. It's almost midnight. Somewhere in Minnesota, you're right now. Out on I-90, you can ski mile marker 232. We stopped at the Loves, filled up all the trucks. Now we're back on this old gal and ready to go. I tell you what, there's no falling asleep in this old gal. It's so damn bumpy, you, you can't fall asleep. I know why they made it so stiff as fuck now. Woo! Let's go. I had to chug my coffee before I got in here because uh, it would just spill all over the place. So, uh, yeah, we're good to go. All right, so we made it like halfway, kind of, not really. We're almost there, but we got a little bit longer to go. Halfway? Yes! We camped out at the Harley Davidson last night. Good spot yeah, we for it. Slept in there. Slept in there. They were kind enough to let us in. They were, we yeah, one o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, they were here. <laughs> Anyways, not very comfortable to sleep on the concrete. No, that's why we slept on the bikes. Ah, that's right. Fire this old gal up. Do a cold it's start. A starter, huh? Cold start. We're not even gonna, I mean, it's not even cold, but. Oh, 05 Cummins. Cold start. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Oh, she's all black. Oh, we don't really know flappers. Those things are gay. Big gay. <laughs> no! Let's go. We got Matt up here drifting the old cab over. Come on, get her going. Get her going again. He still got his turn signal on. There he is. Yes. <laughs> is he going to go today or? There he is. There you go, sideways again. <laughs> here we're out here storm chasing the day. We're almost back. We just got into Sioux Falls here, South Dakota. And uh, we got some nice looking clouds here. Nothing looked like a tornado yet. Hopefully it does. We need to see a tornado. Now that would be tense. I don't see any circular moving clouds. But that flag is moving like a mug. I guess he wants to get off here. We'll got to get out and experiment the tornado here. Wherever it's at. Come on, come on, come on. Where's your tornadoes? Come on, nah. If there's not a tornado, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, it's just a little rain out here today. Nothing too exciting. Yes. Not too bad. Hopefully the cab over is good. You roll up the windows in that mug? Oh yeah. Better have we. Well, it's been a week and a half since we've been home, Clayton. Yeah. You went and burned himself like a crispy chicken tender. Yeah, it's uh pretty bad. <laughs> we went out on the boat this weekend. <laughs> Beer was drank and skin was burned. Very badly. Yeah, it's you bad. You No. No. Don't take your shirt off on the boat. <laughs> or use some sunscreen. Yeah, that being we didn't said, have none of that. that being said, we kind of just want to make a quick outro video, if you will, talking about our experience with the old International. This beautiful beast. Made it all the way, no problems at all. Literally no problems. Except not for that brake line. Oh, the brake line? That doesn't matter. That's uh, some video already. If you're this far in the video. Of uh, the phone just down the road. That's how it feels driving this thing. There is no suspension. Zero. It is like driving a brick cross country, only worse. Spring for the fuel pedal is so incredibly strong that you have to basically Pretty put much all of your muscle it. into it to make it go. Because it's so bumpy, this. Oh, it comes, really, it's missing a bolt right here. Oh, it looks like these are about to come out. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's how bumpy it is. It's the damn bumper falling off. You want to share some of your experience driving? I mean, he did first day about 650 miles, and did second day about 650 miles. Straight. Really no brakes except to stretch your back, whine about how bad it hurt, and got back in. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, well, you can't fall asleep in this thing going down the road, <laughs> that's for sure. Like you don't have to worry on road trips if you're worried about falling asleep. No, not in this thing. <laughs> it will keep you awake. Your head's hitting the ceiling like every three seconds. But other than that, I'm gonna need like 12 of these things immediately. We just have to start up a fleet of cab owners. They're units. It's pretty tense. The whole point of this 
obviously, I mean, it's a really cool unit. Uh, that being said, the whole point of this purchase was we're going to make it into a really cool tone rig, but also to experience. 1979 trucking. Like, this yes. is it to the team. It's trucking. This is trucking back in 1979. One of the trucks that built America is right here, sitting in Gillette, Wyoming, came from California, went to Niles, Michigan, and now it's over here in Gillette, Wyoming. It's been this, around town. It's one of the trucks that they used to use to build America, the transport stuff. Probably at one point, flatbed, maybe a dump bed on it. Who knows? Yeah, I wonder what this thing did back in the day. It's what can it spin? How many RPMs? Like 7,000 RPMs we can spin this old gal. And, and we're only the, at 2,200. The factory head studs, it can hold like 200, or head bolts, it can hold like 200 PSI boost. That's We're insane. only pushing like 10. No, so. I did see 20 in the burning. Woo! <laughs> Man! Out of that little baby turbo. Yes. Well, the story is we recommend buying one if you see it. And driving yeah. cross country. Buy it immediately. Make sure you bring some Advil. And go see the chiropractor afterwards. Don't need that. <laughs> this will whip you back into shape. Get a chance to buy one. Buy it and drive it cross country. Don't be a weed. Don't be a weed. Don't be a weed. Thanks for all the support, folks. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next round.